OSU is set to host a regional game when it comes to the baseball tournament. This is a big deal. Uh, it will bring visitors to Terre Haute and Vigo County. Jen Thompson spoke with Mayor Bennett about the excitement surrounding another very busy weekend in the city. Jen. Mike, executive director of the Vigo County Convention and Visitors Bureau, David Patterson, told me that the hotels are already booked up in preparation for the tournament. It's an exciting time for the community. Last week was very exciting because, I mean, the downtown was buzzing. A buzzing downtown. Thanks to last week's firefighter convention, plus the Missouri Valley Conference baseball tournament. And then have an ISU actually win the tournament and get the, the draw that they did and be able to host. I mean, that's just like icing, you know, on the cake. And so looking forward to this weekend. Icing on the cake. That's the 2023 NCAA baseball tournament coming to Terre Haute's Bob Warren Field. Oh, it's always great to have schools like Iowa and North Carolina and Wright State all coming to Terre Haute to play and brings their fans in here and, you know, brings the media and it just gives us a chance to, you know, stand out and, and show what a great community we have and hopefully ISU can pull out a few more victories here and move on to the next round. More fans, a welcoming sight for Missy Pomeroy, owner of Roly Poly, which sits just over a mile away from the ball diamond. With ISU in this tournament is amazing for our community, so we're hoping it brings in more people from out of town. We'll actually try to get out there and hand out some flyers and give some coupons to get some people in to see Roly Poly and what we're about. Indiana State University was named one of 16 regional hosts for the tournament, a first in the Sycamores program history. That's kind of what our goal has been to create these things, these events, these uh, the energy, I guess, to fun things to do, and just seeing all those people and enjoying themselves was awesome. The announcement came after the Sycamore's dominant run that resulted in both the Missouri Valley Conference regular season and postseason championships. Now, another opportunity for a bustling community. The whole month of May has been very busy around here. We haven't had many hotel rooms. Seeing the you know restaurants full and just everybody milling around doing finding something to do in their spare time that's what really this is all about with all the people coming we're hoping that we can sell some platters to them we'll deliver for free tournament tickets went on sale to earlier today and tomorrow we're going to take a closer look at the economic impact this tournament will have on the Terre Haute community Mike all right thanks so much Jen for that report